What's up guys, today I'll be doing a review of the Venom Impact Boxing Gloves, so stay tuned. Uber of the styles like miles and shit, like 60s funky worms with waves and perms, just sending junky Alright guys, so before we do the review, let's go ahead and do a close-up of these Venom Impact boxing gloves. As you can see, I got this in that uh, camouflage gray and sand color scheme. It does use PU. If you guys ever use, see that uh, abbreviation or acronym PU, it just basically means polyurethane. So it's a synthetic material, synthetic leather. It has a really nice soft touch feel to it, almost like a satiny kind of feel. Uh, to it, I actually really like it compared to some of the other synthetic materials I've, I've used that have a little bit more of a tackier, um, slicker feel. These feel more of like a satin to it. Um, and then on the back here, you can see they also integrate some of this uh, faux carbon fiber material that's really soft as well. I think it adds a nice touch to it. Um, I got mine in 14 ounces. One thing I do like about this patch they use on the Velcro strap is that it's kind of rubberized and it has this venom where that's embossed on here but it's really soft and smooth even the edges sometimes you get some other gloves um, that have the the patch that's either plastic or it's a cloth fabric or um, like nylon and then the edges are real sharp because they cut it and then they, they stitch it on they don't really get, do good of kind of keeping the seams down so it gets really sharp i like what venom did with keeping that nice and soft um, but the graphics actually look pretty good again i'm not a huge fan of loud graphics i wish that they um maybe kind of turned it turned it down a little bit on some of their gloves, but to each their own. Some people love it, some people don't. Just totally subjective, it depends on depends on you. So, see so it does have that venom on the fingertips. Then the palm side, you can see it integrates more of that carbon fiber looking material on the palm with the ventilated holes as well as on the thumb. And then a mesh on the, on the grip bar. And then like some of the other venom gloves as well, like the Elites, uh, one thing they do integrate, which I like as well, is that aside from the actual padding they use along the wrist right here to give you some support, they roll it over to the palm side right here. So it all makes, almost makes the you know, like a upside down U, or depending on how you look at it, it makes a, a U shape right here. And that's more or less, not only just for boxing, but if you're into kickboxing, Muay Thai, or any other kind of combat sport and you need to, to block or parry shots, you have that extra layer of, of medium to soft density padding right here to, to kind of give you that extra little protection. So. Overall, you can see the gloves look really symmetrical. The inside also uses a nice smooth liner. It's um, the back part of the wrist right here is almost like the same material they use on the exterior. So it has kind of this polyurethane feel. And then the inside uses a standard 
polyester nylon liner that you would find like in most gloves like Winnings and um, some of the other gloves like Sabas. So kind of that same uh, liner on the inside. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale, see how much these weigh before we do the review. So let's do the right glove. Right glove weighs in at 13.6. Left glove weighs in at 13.5. So that's good to see. Both gloves are almost at 14 ounces and compared to each other, they're relatively the same weight. So that's nice to see. Let's do the review. What's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'll be doing a review of the Venom Impact boxing gloves. I got mine in this camouflage color scheme. Integrate some grays, blacks, and some sand colors into it to kind of give you that unique camouflage look. I decided to go with the 14 ounce weight. You can get them anywhere between 8 to 16 ounces. It is a Velcro closure only glove. They currently do not make the Impact model and at least up currently. And color wise, you can go with this camo. They also make a, a, a black and a gray, a white and a black, and some other unique colors to choose from if you choose to do so. Now, Venom is a large MMA boxing company that makes all kinds of gear. Um, and they recently started their own pro boxing line and I did a review on their Venom Hammer as well as their Venom Shield gloves and some of their more uh, intermediate to entry level gloves like the Challengers and the, the Giant gloves I did a review on as well. And I was kind of curious to see how these impacts would perform and they did not disappoint. These are actually my favorite boxing gloves for several reasons which I'll go over here in, here in a minute. So uh, design wise you can see this glove has a mid to compact profile. It doesn't have a super long cuff and it's not super wide which I really like. I, I'm a big fan of more compact looking gloves. As you can see here, looking real close at it, it has a really cool Venom logo on the back of the strap. And like I showed you guys earlier in the close up part of the video, I like how they use that kind of rubberized material for the patch. You can see that it has a nice Velcro closure that opens on the inner part of the wrist. So that kind of crosses over and secures everything. You can see that it has a nice Velcro strap right there, pretty standard. The inside right here on the liner uses the same faux polyester, uh, polyester, excuse me, polyurethane material they use on the exterior. And then up towards the hand compartment, the inner hand compartment, you can see it uses a, a standard polyester nylon liner. One thing I would have liked to see in here is if they were to use a material that was a little bit more softer, that get, kind of have uh, a little bit more of a um, same feel as this faux polyurethane because this material in here tends to kind of bunch up, especially around the fingertip area. It's not a huge deal, it doesn't really affect the performance, but it's just one thing I noticed that um, could be an issue for some of the people that don't like how that material kind of bunches up on the inside there. Um, so you can see here on the palm side, you can see it uses about, mm, I'd say a quarter of an inch of padding that runs up on both sides of the hand, or should I say the both sides of your wrist, and then it kind of comes up and makes this little turn right here and has some padding right there that gives you some extra protection. You can see they use that faux carbon fiber on the palm right here, and they put some holes in there for some ventilation, as well as the inner part of the thumb. And I like that touch. I like that look of that carbon fiber. It actually looks really nice. And then you have this mesh fingertip area that has this medium-sized grip bar. That's a good size right there. You do have an attached thumb as well, right there. On the thumb, you do have the Venom logo that goes across. And in the back of the hand, looking at it, it has kind of just the Venom design with different fangs and kind of a different look to it. Then you have the camouflage that's integrated into that. You do have that snake head logo that's right there. And then on the punching surface, you have the Venom logo as well as more of that camouflage design. So you can see there, you know, a very unique design. Again, if you're not a big fan of huge graphics, it might not be the look that you like. Some people do like it. It's totally subjective, just depends on you. Now, quality of these gloves are actually really nice. I was really impressed by the actual craftsmanship of this. You know, when you're looking at real close at the glove, you don't really see any imperfections on this glove. No, no issue with stitching, no overruns of the stitching, no areas where, you know, the seams meet up. One thing that Venom advertises is that this uh, stitching is reinforced on this glove. And I like how they actually tuck it in. They kind of roll the material over so you don't really see any of the seams that are coming out. So. They do a really nice job of keeping the stitching nice and clean, as well as no frayed ends coming out. Everything looks really clean. And I like how they really tuck the polyurethane material into the fingertips, as well as the thumb. Really nice and clean. You don't feel like there's a lot of slack. Sometimes you get some gloves where 
you feel like there's too much material and it doesn't bond to the foam properly and you have kind of a lot of slack of material, you feel like everything feels real nice and uniform with this glove and that the actual exterior skin is really molded to the actual foam on the inside. Another thing I really like is how well balanced this glove is. The weight is distributed nicely so you don't feel like it's too top heavy or back heavy and that's mainly because they use a triple density foam aka multi-layer foam uh, which is my favorite feature of this glove. So quality wise it looks really good, no issues there. The only thing I would say is the inner liner which, which kind of bunches up a little bit in the fingertip area uh, but that's just not a huge deal, just something I noticed. Now comfort of the glove is excellent. Sliding your hand in here, put your hands in a nice natural position. I have medium sized hands and you can see how far it goes down on my forearm, not too far. It has a medium sized profile, a little bit more on the compact side. Um, you can see that it has this padding that goes around the wrist and up into the palm area. So it gives you a nice feeling of support right there. And the Velcro strap does a nice job of keeping everything locked in. You do have that hinge point right here, which doesn't allow you to overextend your hand too far backwards. And then my thumb is in a perfect position. It doesn't jam at the top. There's enough room for the tip of my thumb. Um, the seam right here doesn't pinch down, so I don't feel like I have any pressure right there. And you can also see that it has a semi-broken in feel. They're not completely loose and broken in like some of the gloves I've had in the past, like some of my rivals or some of the gloves like those Everlast fight gloves, those elite fight gloves where you can just literally do like that with your hand and open and close it. You can open and close your hand to parry shots, it just has a little bit of a break-in period. Which I like the fact that they use the triple density foam in here, because if this was injected molded foam like some of the other budget gloves, it's really stiff and you have a hard time opening your hand up. So I really like that you can open your hand up really nicely. The grip bar is, is in a really nice position right here in this mesh right here, right inside where, where my hand is at. And then you have an additional roll of grip right here. One thing I wish they would have covered up was the seam. You can actually feel the seam right here on the inside of the glove, on the finger compartment. So if maybe they put an extra piece of like neoprene or something over that seam, it would have been a nice little extra touch. Now the finger compartment feels really good. It doesn't feel too crowded. Like my fingers are overlapping each other. Um, they're, it's a good width. I don't feel like it's too loose or it wiggles around. So I definitely like that. And sizing wise, because you can get anywhere from 8 to 16 ounces, if you do have bigger hands, larger fingers, definitely go with the 16 ounce. Um, these are the 14s and I have medium sized hands and these are like the perfect size. So if you have larger hands than me, which if you're a bigger dude, you, or you're a bigger person, should I say, you definitely would want to go with a larger glove just because you might be a little bit too, too snug for you. Um, but you can see comfort wise, these are really nice. Put my hand in a nice position. I don't feel like they're too big um, whatsoever. So. Now the performance of the glove is my favorite feature of this glove. Because they use a multi-layer foam, this glove is well balanced. When you use this on the, on the heavy bag, you get a nice crack. You get a nice good sinking feeling that you made contact with the shot that you placed. So when you're using, even on a, a like more densely filled heavy bags, when you make that shot, some gloves are too protective or they have too much material or their foam is too, too, too stiff or dense and you don't really feel the shot come through into your knuckles. With these you get a nice feeling of, of the, the shot sinking in and you get good feedback. So I feel like these are similar to the Venom hammers in the fact that you get great feedback with these but then you have a little bit of the, the shield where it protects your hand as well so it doesn't feel, give you sore knuckles. So maybe like the Giant 2.0s which I still got to do a review on but these are a very well balanced glove in the, in the fact that you can really feel every shot especially on the mitts and the heavy bag you can feel that crack and you get that really good feedback feeling that I know a lot of you guys look for. So I really like that and the fact that you get that and the protection that goes along with it. So cost wise, these are $69. Um, I actually was looking at the Venom website earlier and they're currently running a special right now. Some of these gloves I think are 59 and some of them are even 35 bucks. So to me, that's a steal. And now granted this, this glove is not a genuine leather glove. It's not, you know, this is a polyurethane glove. So, I mean, if you're not a fan of a synthetic gloves, then that's going to you know, obviously be uh, something for you to overcome in, in your mind if you want to take the dive on these gloves. But uh, for a synthetic polyurethane glove, um, these are probably my favorite in terms of just the pricing. It, it comes in a good price point. It's you know, under 70 bucks. Um, it has good features to it. It doesn't look too crazy. And I definitely like the feel and the performance of these gloves overall. Probably definitely my favorite uh, Venom gloves because of that. It's really well balanced. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you guys leave any comments down below in the comments box. 
I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these impact flows. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.